Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome to MacBreak Studio. I'm your host, Brian Gary. And once again, we have Final Cut Pro Wizard, Steve Martin. And you're actually going to show us something that is part of the default interface, but a lot of people don't use it correctly. Like when Final Cut Pro installs and it has the vanilla button set, you end up with two buttons up here. You know, in the upper right of the timeline, you get the uh, uh, snapping and you have link selection. Link selection. And a lot of people misunderstand the link selection. Right. Well, first of all, let's talk about how Final Cut Pro handles clips. Okay. When you bring in a clip in Final Cut, either from the camera or, you know, from tapeless source, the default is that the video and audio are linked together. And when you can see this is if I, if I click on a clip, notice the audio selects with it. If I click another clip that's linked, selects with it. You see the underlying. Right. That's that visual indicator. That's a visual, right. Yeah. A lot of people think, well, that's training wheels. Why would they ever, why would you ever keep video and audio linked? You, you, you want to be able to kind of separate them sometimes. Sure. Um, and so the first thing is a new Final Cut Pro user, you go, oh, I know what I'll do. I'll use this button over here, this linked selection button over here, which in fact turns off linking. Right. But the problem is it turns off linking for the entire sequence. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So and I, temporarily. Yes. Right. So let's, we'll, we'll get to that. Oh, so okay. go ahead. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn off the linking button. So let's just say, you know, uh, now with it off, I can, I can select the clip independent. I can even, I can even move it right. apart from the video and see what a lot of people say that that's what I'd want to do. Let's say I wanted to take the nat sound from that clip okay. because maybe it's something I want to use somewhere else. Right. So I'm going to, I've turned off linking. Right. Now I'm going to grab this. Let's say I want that sound, that nat sound to appear like on, under here. Okay. okay? Great. Makes sense. Now I turn linking back on. Right. Now here's the problem with it. Notice now when I, let's say later, I want to trim that clip, that little, that little Nat sound clip. Watch what happens when I trim it. Look, 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 look what's happened to the video clip earlier yep. in the timeline. Because they're still linked. They're still linked, yes. which, which is a lot of people that's just like, what the, why does it do that? Let me, let me undo a few steps okay. and talk about what's happening. When you bring in a clip right. from either a tape source or tapeless, right. it comes in linked. I like to use a metaphor of a marriage. Final Cut Pro thinks the clips are married, right? All right? And you when want to you, give them a divorce? No. Well, no. Nope. No, you're, nope. no, no, no. Get out of me. The button, the button is actually because you notice that when I turned it off, Final Cut Pro still thought they were linked. So it really gives them a trial separation. Trial separation, yes. Okay. They don't have irreconcilable differences yet. No, but that, okay. that's a trial separation. But if you wanted them to behave independently, right? Then you would want to give them a divorce. Ah, uh, so I have to show you the divorce command. Yes, please okay, do. So, that, that's not command D? No, okay. it's not command D. <laughs> and that's command L for lawyer. Oh, yeah. So if I go up, if I say, so if I select the clip yeah. and I go up to the, um, actually it's the modify menu. It would be really helpful if I like knew where the, the menu would right Oh, there, there it right? is, right link. I, you know, it's so funny. I've been using Final Cut Pro for like over 10 years now and every now and then I just go, well, that well, you got kind of emotional about this whole idea of divorce and marriage I know. I was, and everything. I was, I, starting, mean, I was starting to think back to my okay. childhood. <laughs> okay, so there it is, link. See, yeah. that means that it's married, okay? So if I go ahead and un go and choose that, I unmarry them or I unlink them. Now, notice the line is missing now. Right. Now, watch. I can take that clip and I can select it. I can move it over here. And now I can even trim it, but because it's divorced, the other clip isn't... That's like a vague, vague, that's a Vegas divorce. That's how easy that was. Yeah, but that's the way you want to do it. If right. you really want the clips to behave independent, right. you literally have to divorce them. But, but you must be, how can you extrapolate this? If I can divorce them, that must mean I can remarry them to another clip. Oh, that's right, because they actually find somebody new in their life. That they can. And, they, and they, now these other two are compatible. In fact, let's do that. Let's, let's remarry them. But let's, before we do that, we should always point back that you can now tell what the, the absence of that underline yes. is your visual indication. Absolutely, visual yeah. indication. Yeah. But let's say I needed to marry that mm -hmm. to this clip. So now I'm, I'm going to select this this clip here, okay. and I'm going to select that little sound effect. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make sure link selections turned on. I'm gonna select this clip, and I'm going to command click and add that one to it. Okay. So you notice this has audio. Already that clip already is. But I'm going to actually this would, this would be more like a Utah marriage. <laughs> Never mind. But I'm going to go. But I you can do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to go up to modify. And big I'm going to choose link. Big love. Like, yeah. Now I choose link. Yeah. And now, look, there's underline under all of them. I've like married that clip to a pre existing one. That's right. Because sometimes there's just more love to share than with. Right. So if I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to choose link, a yeah. link. And now I'm they're gonna, all. Uh, now they're all. I'm going to put this actually over, let's see here. 
find some, I, the, pretty much any clip I can marry it to. I just kind of select it, select them all, modify, link. Now when I move that clip, they all kind of move as a group, they trim as a group, they select as a group, everything as a group. So Final Cut Pro, where polygamy is legal. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't email me if you're from Utah. Yes. Anyway, um, it was just a metaphor. Where else can we find marriage counseling for Final Cut Pro like you have uh, illustrated today? You can find it at rippletraining.com. Rippletraining Final Cut Pro Core Training. It's a full, full uh, tutorial on Final Cut. Beautiful. Steve Martin in the house giving us all kinds of love advice from the doctor himself, Steve Martin. I'm Brian Gary. Thanks for watching. MacBreak Counseling Studio? MacBreak Studio.